The balanced calendar is a different approach to schooling uh, than perhaps uh, most of us are used to. Uh, uh, when I raised this uh, with my son who is 16, I said, well, how about we have shorter summer holidays? And uh, he looked at me uh, like I was crazy. He said, uh, you know, I enjoy the long summers. Uh, it's a time when I can uh, just relax and uh, not go to school. But in reality, uh, my son has finished school sometime in mid-June, doesn't come back until uh, sometime after Labor Day. Uh, that's a very long break. And in this uh, day and age, uh, uh, the long, what is called agrarian uh, calendar, uh, no longer should apply. Uh, our students are not going out in the fields, uh, 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 working in the fields anymore. Uh, we should be looking at uh, a calendar that uh, balances out the school year. So what we would contemplate, uh, and there are various forms of the balanced calendar, uh, but the one that uh, is most common would be uh, having a, a month break, uh, probably in December, another month uh, likely in April, and then a, a month in August when it's uh, the, the heat of August is, is on us. Um, this would then enable three balanced terms through, uh, through the school year. Um, the same amount of instructional time uh, would occur and yet uh, we would have those natural breaks.